So when it comes to changing the actual value of a product, you don't act to you re-import, sure, but you don't actually like use the same identification ID. So first off, let's say Jason Ru product. Let's say that it has a vendor on it now and you want to remove that vendor. Let's say we want to remove Tony Reynolds as a vendor because we don't and this vendor because we don't buy them anymore from these we don't buy this product from these uh vendors anymore. No problem. Manually do that. Just save it. It's done. It takes two seconds, two clicks. Now let's say that you want to update this product record, it's already in your system, with another uh vendor eventually. And you don't want to do so via a manual do it go into the system and, and do it through here. So what you do is you actually go to products, select the product that you want to push, go action, export. When you click export, if you just click something like name field, it's actually going to push out a record. And that record is going to have something called an ID on it. That ID is what you use to re-import values into that record without duplicating that record. So if I take that value and I put it here and I just have a, I delete the name, field name, name, and I instead replace it with ID and this unique combination or string, then it will always route back. So now I can say Jacob Reese, I can say vendor X, um, test, you know, 1099, you know, 100 days, one minimum quantity, price, and then again, maybe um, Tony So take those values, quickly dump this out as a CSV, go to products, exit from here, import, load file, latest spreadsheet, there's our updated info, test import, everything seems valid, click import, JSON root product, there's still one, it didn't duplicate, open it up, and you'll see here all those values have been added to the framework and their corresponding, all their corresponding info. So that's the best way to do it. If you instead use, you know, name and then, um, Jason, all right, you product, you'll see when I actually go and export this and import it again, that we're gonna have a problem. And that problem is it's going to create a second JSON root product, as we can see here, with, in this instance, the exact same credential, uh, no, one less vendor X, because the other one was we left from the previous, uh, the previous example. So, go ahead and action delete this. So you can see that's the issue, and that's how you work around it. Um, pretty simple. Let me know if you have any questions.